Holy boy, so fucking got into it with Tim again this morning. So like, I don't know, man. So I'm at the point where this truck here is sat now for about a year and I have not done any installations. I've just like kind of like chilled with the boys in the office and that's it, right? And that's not Tim, that's the owner, Chris and Mark which is the uh like the sales rep and safety rep right but uh <laughs> i come in right i already got a phone call from mark that the fucking truck's down right so i'm coming in come in go check the truck out right because chris is my buddy and i like i help him right like like this is for free like i drive out here i help him because he he saved my life dude like like I was freezing him my fucking van. He paid for motels with his fucking points from his visa. Fucking literally saved my fucking life. Least I can do, come out, fucking help him out when he needs it too, right? So today was one of those days. So I come out and you see we are losing a significant amount of brake fluid, right? So I go in, Tim's already fucking bipping off to me because he's just a mouthpiece fucking goof. And the way it's all set up right now is that Chris is only making enough money to pay his mortgage and shit. And he's getting no extra money anymore because Dave fell off the roof because that fucking goofy screamed at him and fucking harassed the fuck out of him to go fucking grab the hose from where he wasn't supposed to. Dave falls, his shoulders all fucking purple, fucking dicked and, you know, and <sighs> so Chris has been paying this guy to uh to fucking sit at home and take care of his wife right which is like like that's on chris chris should have never hired tim back we had him gone right and everything was going good very good we were like doing 12 jobs a day both these fucking trucks were both fucking going full fucking tilly you know and there's four fucking installers here and I was the, just like a maintenance, like fixing everything and driving to get parts and managing and trying to fucking fix everything and get it all running properly. You know what I mean? And I was doing a fucking great job. But then that motherfucker is a manipulative fucking goof and fucked it all up. Okay. Cause he manipulated his way back into the company after Dave died. And then when he came back. Here we are, because he really doesn't like me because he knows Chris is my buddy, right? And he wants to have full control over Chris, right? And he knows with me there, that's not gonna fucking happen because I don't let his shit fucking slide. Like bringing his crackhead fucking girlfriends in the fucking office, causing all kinds of fucking shit. Like me, okay, dude. Like I want nothing, nothing to do with these little life scumbag pieces of shit, right? This guy's been here for like eight years. He's just a fucking ex-drug addict, fucking robber, fucking goof. Like a fucking goof. And, you know, with him here, I cannot, I cannot fix this. You know what I mean? And the cops have tried their best to get rid of him. And they know what's going on. And it's just fucking dicked, right? But like, so he's basically making enough money to pay the salaries for the people that work there, including Dave, to sit at home because of his fucked shoulder. Because now he is now responsible for that fucking injury till the day he fucking dies, pretty much, because of everything. He destroyed this business. This is, look at this. Since 19, sorry, sir, it's backwards. Uh, oh, buddy. Since 1976, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, it's disgusting. Like I had that truck, brand new. We got this thing for fucking $67,000 
and it's a 2013. It was fucking mint. Had all new 